Secretary of State John Kerry getting slammed by the GOP. Iran may now be exempt from the United States' new visa requirements. Fox News a letter sent from Secretary Kerry to his Iranian counterpart, Iran's foreign minister. And in that letter, Secretary Kerry suggests the Obama administration could help Iran bypass Congress's brand new restrictions just passed last week. Chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Ed Royce, now going after Secretary Kerry and the Obama administration. Congressman Royce goes on the record. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, Greta. As I understand it, in that spending law that was passed last week, there are 38 nations that have exemption from visa to come into the United States. And uh, under, under the law, it also said, though, that if you'd been to Sudan, Syria, Iraq, and Iran in the last five years, you, you didn't get that visa exemption. And that's what Secretary Kerry's trying to help Iran with? When you think about the ways we're trying to appease Iran, uh, the administration has got to show some backbone here. Here we have a situation where he, Iran itself has been a state sponsor of terrorism. In the last few weeks, we've seen Iran, in violation of the U.N. sanctions, launch another uh, ballistic missile test. We've seen them also take another American hostage. We've, we've also just learned about the, how they hacked into a dam in, uh, outside of New York City. And now you have a situation where we're trying to placate the Iranian regime. This administration has got to learn to push back on Iran. They're testing to see how far they go. And in this case, it's a threat to our homeland. All right. Does, does the president have the authority to waive that requirement as it applies to Iran? Or is that you know, completely, I mean, Congress passed this law. The president has signed it as part of the bill. But can President Obama, correct. does he have, does he have the authority to say, well, okay, we're not going to do this one? He does not have the authority to do this. The reason we passed that legislation, Greta, was in order to protect the homeland. And, and one of the things we ought to consider here is that uh, Soleimani, General Soleimani, was, is already responsible for the death of 600 Americans. He was the one that took that trip to Moscow. He is in charge of assassinations outside of Iran. So why in the world would we want someone like that who heads up the Quds forces to have the ability to slip his agents uh, out of Europe and into the United States? Why would they get automatic visa waiver uh, program like we would give to Europe? There is no reason to allow that, and that's why we said for state sponsors of terrorism and for those who had visited Syria, this was not going to be offered. That was clearly understood by the White House. Yes, they pushed back on it, but we passed the legislation, they signed the legislation, and now you get uh, the Secretary of State trying to circumvent this. So what are you going to do? I mean, President Obama signed it. I mean, the ink's hardly dry on it, and they're go now apparently they're trying to end run it. So what are you going to do? We're, we're going to insist that our um, homeland security uh, take on the responsibility of checking those who come here in violation of this law. That is the law of the land, and the president cannot overturn that, and neither can the secretary of state. And, and when we get back, uh, you know, in terms of uh, our oversight responsibilities, we're going to have the Secretary of State up in front of our committee to discuss about just this issue, how he would try to circumvent a law that was just signed, just signed, and especially after the attack that we had in San Bernardino and what we've seen in Paris and what we've seen in London, this, th this kowtowing to Iran must stop now. Plus, there's, plus, the president's thumbing his nose and the Secretary of State thumbing his nose at Congress because, you, you know, they're, they're ignoring, I mean, it, like I said, the ink isn't even dry and they're already ignoring it. But anyway, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you, Greta. Good to be with you.